So assuming you've already learned what aperture is, uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what f-stops are. F-stops are a numerical scientific value uh, assigned to various openings in a camera lens in the physical aperture. Uh, and they go like this, these are full stops. It starts at f1.4, goes to f2.8, f4, f5.6, f8, f11, f16, and we'll stop at f22 because most lenses don't go much higher than that. So what do all these numbers mean? What it really actually breaks down to is an algorithm about light refraction and how light's passing through, and it gets really kind of scientific and confusing, and it's really not that important. Just knowing the values of the f-stops, though, is really important. Uh, and there's stops in between each of these. There's half values, like in between f1.4 and f2.8. There's f1.8 and f2 and f2.4. If you look at any lens, uh, a lens like this, for instance, it has the same exact f-stops written out right on the lens barrel. Now, if you were using this on an old school camera, you would physically stop down or stop open the aperture using this dial here. On newer cameras, you don't. This is physically opening and closing down. F1.4 is gonna look something like this. It's gonna be completely open up. You get F2.8, it's gonna be a little bit smaller. You get F4, it's gonna be a little bit smaller. 5.6 is gonna be a little bit smaller. So on and so forth until you get to somewhere around F22 where it's a really tiny opening. F1.4, the most light's gonna come in. You're gonna have the opportunity to have the fastest shutter speed. Uh, F22 is gonna be the least amount of light coming in. You're gonna have to have a very long, well, just a much longer shutter speed than if you were at F1.4. And this is just some advice to help you understand the numerical values of f-stops and how they relate to your camera and exposure.